Hello and welcome all as we wait for the start of a match amongst the most anticipated fixtures over the course of the entire season. A day certainly not for the faint-hearted. It is yet another edition of this long-standing conflict between two sides engaged in a never-ending rivalry. One that never has and never will lose its intensity no matter what the context no matter how many times these two clubs meet. The Emirates awash with red and white, a sea of Arsenal, just as you would anticipate. Well, it's a friendly in theory, but we are expecting this to be fiercely contested. Well, in games of this nature, as a player, Peter, you only want to work as hard as demanded. You don't want to have to go at it full pelt. But when the opposition is what it is, all of that kind of goes out the window. The challenge here will ask more of you, and so both teams will, will wish to, to give more than they take. It's one of those games, Peter, where if the opposition increase their effort, you have to follow it. Well, we're on the way. Jim, you've played in games of this nature. Who can make the difference? Yeah, Hugo Lloris. His lightning-fast reactions and all-round shot-stopping ability make him a formidable obstacle for opposition strikers. And you'd always back him, Peter, in a one-on-one. -on -one. He doesn't just stick to his penalty area, though. He dominates the entire defensive third, sweeping up behind his defence and, and getting them shifting forward once more i'm thinking the same he will be a central feature no doubt the referee's awarded a free kick Kane, Dyer. It's been a pretty frantic start. A lot of front foot pressing. Dyer, Dyer with a searching ball, and they've been caught out here. Deli Ali, and here's Son Heung. -min. Son Heung Min. Oh, fine stop from the keeper. The keeper really dug out his defence then, a magnificent effort. Tottenham have pushed both fullbacks into quite advanced positions here. Yeah, that's that's interesting. So what are they attempting to do? Well, it's, it's a bold attempt, in my opinion, to occupy the opposition in a way they're not expecting. Hoiberg. Big relief, it just needed better contact. Forward it goes. Tierney switches it towards the other side.
A real chance if he can get through. Aubameyang spreads it towards the left. Well, that's not the cross he had in mind. Arsenal, so far, providing no real test at all for the goalkeeper. Dyer tries to locate someone up front. Ali. Oh, it's opened up nicely for him. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Well, you could see he was eager to get a shot away, but there was too much flesh and bone in his path. Dyer gets it away. It's a loose ball. Finds himself eased off the ball. And now the breakaway. Partey battles to win it back. And it's Aubameyang. There's the through ball. Hits one! Oh, surely that deserved better. The timing of the pass and run was exquisite. Dyer. Aurier. Looks to bypass the midfield. Oh, well played, he saw that coming. He's through, now is he in? Shot a goal! Oh, that was no routine save. Kane sparked a tremendous stop there, and I think it's fair to add, he just wasn't expecting it. Knocks it away. Aubameyang is the guilty party there. Defence can get it clear. And the first half is done. So both sides have drawn blanks. They have toiled at times, but it's not been a bad game by any means. An intriguing half, lacking only in goals. The score, nil-nil. Underway again. So deadlock still as the second half begins. Well, he acknowledges that he should have come up with something better there. Yeah, I mean, he, I think he did well to, to spot the run. He just didn't get enough behind it. It happens. Hoists it forward. And the through ball is intercepted. Son Hyung Min. Kane. Hoiberg. And he's there to clear it. Granite Chaka. And it's played forward. Tries to get it forward quickly. Arsenal get it back again. Nicely controlled. Dyer goes looking, and here's the chance to counter. Ali. Son Hyung Min. Oh, that is asking for trouble. 
Ball is over the line. We have got changes here from both sides, in fact. And it's Hoiberg. And here's Lucas Mora. Partey can hoist it clear. Aurier. And here's Lucas Mora. And here's Kane with a shot. Partey. Nil-nil the score and we're just about done. A deeply frustrating game. And here's a and the shot. It's in. Well, if ever there was a perfect time to score, I think we just witnessed it. <laughs> oh, high quality goal. A lovely first touch. Sumptuous second. The change has been in quick succession. Change being made here, presumably to tighten their defence. Yeah, yeah, that's not, not totally surprising. surprising. The manager the obviously felt the best defence, he needed the reinforcement. He can't afford that to repeat it. So we have a breakthrough. Well, we well, certainly had to wait for it, Peter. Now we have a difficult decision. Is it a stick or twist? Tottenham are actually displaying a tremendous fighting spirit. There's a real belief that they can still have a say. So, time for changes on both sides, actually. It's Sistoko. And 
has got rid of that. Referee looks at his watch and blows his whistle. Arsenal win it by the only goal. Result, no question, the most important thing, however it came. Final score, 1-0. Thoughts on what we've just seen? Arsenal made their intention to clear that nothing else but a win would do. These games are always tough, you know. It's, it's not always about form, it's not always about class or style. It's about pride and they showed loads of that. Their attitude was spot on today. So that's it from us. Many thanks go to Jim Beglin and goodbye from us.